just put the case back on just to show you the m m the whole top bit. What I've done is I've added a, a bar going across or a piece of wood, um, which basically is slightly lower than the actual print head. Um, sorry, slightly high. Yeah, slightly lower than the print head. So basically, anything, any material, what doesn't go under there is not going. To, at least I know it's going to hit. The, the print head so basically that's just a safety safety feature and I also use that to uh, to line up the material and um, basically put put that into each corner Oops, light slippery. Um, and then adjust the, the the bolts in the corners just so that I can actually uh, get the material at the right height in each of the corners of the material okay so when you're printing your onto the with the UV because you're unit is there and the print head is over this side what you need to do is force the printer to actually print the full width of the thing so it, it will go all the way to that side and even if you're printing just in the middle you want the printer to actually come all the way back to there so that the UV has time to actually cure down down this side of, of your printer and the way to get around this is basically adding a, a, a border or margin at this side and then basically move all your artwork across and then basically draw a coloured line down this side of the on your artwork so that the printer will actually go and print that but obviously that's not on your material where the, then the UV ink is actually curing the, the part what you want it to do and the same on the other side basically you want the the printer to go for the full width of, of the actual machine. Okay, so this is my uh, template which which is set up. So this area down here is the part which I don't don't print into. Uh, the the checkered is where I put my artwork. And what I've done is put two lines of colour. So um, so I put it at what is it? It's at four percent of each colour, or four out of the 125 it can be. Um, just so that it prints all the colours. And then the printer will actually go to the full width of the of the material. And then what I need to do is just drop my artwork into the, the main area. That's where the printer is going to go to. So the, the printer is going to go to that line, but the UV LED unit is actually going to finish there to actually cure that part. Obviously, if you don't do this, that area the UV will never actually be able to get into. So you'll you'll find that it doesn't cure that side of it. Okay, the other thing what I do is is when I'm printing it, you make sure that your oops, your your lines at either side are slightly longer than the actual material what you're printing. And then this allows the the printer to carry on printing it past there, but still curing your artwork um, when it's when it's making that pass. Okay, what I've done is also printed straight onto the bed. So I've um, put a couple of lines onto them as guides and then printed that out so that I know exactly where I need to mount the artwork. So basically this is a piece of acrylic which I'm going to just print on. So I've just mounted that onto the uh, the guides and then basically I'll put my artwork um, at the top corner. Um, because my artwork on my my plan is already set up to the top line, when I export that artwork and put it into the program it basically it's got the invisible guides down there and then it's also got the the coloured line down each side of, of there that's why the artwork's so wide but my artwork's there so this bit down here is, is where obviously the void area and then the, my artwork will actually be printed well, hopefully smack bang in the middle of, of well slightly to the, the left of, of the side of, of the material okay so now I've just uh, put the material into the right place um, I'm printing onto some ac ac acrylic p um, perspex. Um, it's good to clean this the material with uh, some alcohol wipes. 70% I find is okay, but you can go up to like 90% with some like ethanol or something like that. Just make sure that it's perfectly clean. You can see the light on it. Um, so when you're printing it, um, you, you don't get any marks or anything like that. We found that um, other if you don't clean it it does tend to uh, peel off quite easily. Okay, so I'm just going to move the bed um, into position. So I'm going to turn off the PE sensor and then just basically move it back. 
Um, like I said, I've got a 9 volt battery onto that rather than a, a 12, um, just so that I don't burn it out. Okay, so I'll just adjust it to where I've put that. What I'm going to do is put a trip switch onto this so that it, it actually turns off on its own and also put a block of wood at the back to stop it going any further. Okay, so there's my, um, the, the wheels, I've, I've gone for the skateboard wheels underneath um, and then there's also, I've, I've run it on, on two long bars uh, which will run parallel with each other. Um, it means that your beds, the whole machine is longer but obviously when the bed's coming out anyway you need that extra room so it's, it's, it's just the, the way I decided to do it. Okay, so I've moved it back into position. Um, turn on the uh, the sensor back on, so the PE sensor is now active. Um, so if I go back and click print, okay. So now that it's just loading this, this up the uh, there we go. So what happens below here? It starts. The sensor runs up there and then basically starts printing. Um, I'll turn the UV on now. Um, I always print it, turn it on at the last minute. And you can see it's printing the full width of the material. Turn the light off, you'll probably see it better. So it's going the full width of the material, but obviously the uh, the ink is going right to the very end of that end and to the very very end of there, just to make it make sure it's it's going to the end. Um, this, this is how it's working. Um, you can see every so often it will come right out the side, and basically what I've done is made a little mark on there to show you how far it goes across. Right there, it is basically you, you want to get it in the right position, else else you're going to have problems. It will make a horrible crunching noise and then miss. So um, yeah, so this is how it's printing. That little drip tray there um, it was on the original one, but obviously uh, when I took all the bottom out, it was leaking all over the place, and I didn't know why. So I had to put that back in. And then also under the end there, there's an extra hole what I need to cut out so that the again some reason it, it decides to spill out some more ink there. You, know, you can see the I've got white in one side and then the colours in the other side. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that. Let's try to turn off the light there again. So there's my printing our logo and it's curing it as it's going along. I did have a, a continuous ink system plugged in, um, which was mounted at the back, um, and then found out that the the inks melt that type of plastic. So all the cable, all the like the tubes, all melted, and all the bottom of the uh, all the ink ran down inside. So at the minute, I've taken that off and just put some uh, blank cartridges in which were empty to start with so I just filled them with the colours I wanted to. Um, let's just see how close it is getting underneath. So you can see how close it's getting underneath there. I mean you don't want to put anything in which hits that else you'll be in trouble. And also you're not supposed to stare at this light uh, even though that it's a uh, it's safer than the, the fluorescent tubings or UV tubings, but it's still it's like I think it's uh, 395 to 405 uh, wavelength, so it's still uh, obviously it's bad for your eyes. So that's why I normally run it with the, the case on, um, so you can't can't accidentally stare at it. It's slowly coming out the other side. Um, on the printer, I tell it to do uh, unidirectional, which basically means that it's only printing one to one way. Uh, this just helps it uh, have time to cure the ink as it's going along. Um, also, my printer won't print it at the full uh, highest resolution. Um, wait for it to uh, start focusing. Um, so I, I cannot print it e uh, either of those. Um, not sure why. It's um, the, with normal inking it works fine but with the UV inking 
Um, it, it must be thicker or something, so it, it doesn't really like to print it that. Okay, so it's finished uh, printing there. What I did do is do some extra lines down either side. Because um, it's only a very, very small amount of ink, you don't actually get any ink spray anywhere else. But it just helps it continue past the, the, the print head. Okay, so that's finished printing, so I've just turned off the the UV light until it's just finished the last little bit. There you go, so it's finished. Okay, so if we get a bit of light on that, so it's, it's printed quite deep and if I try and scratch it, it's not, not coming off at all. So uh, that's on. What it tends to do is put a little bit of uh, some some of the ink doesn't actually cure, or it's it's like a, a lubricant or something like that. So uh, what I tend to do is just get the the alcohol again, or some meth methylated spirits, and just wipe it off. But yeah, I'll take a photo of this so you can actually see the detail. But that's that's not coming off. So I'm just going to clean it with some mess. If you uh, can see. At the top of there is just a slight bit of uh, magenta which hasn't cured. I'm not sure why, so let me just wipe it down. Okay, so I've just wiped that bit down, and uh, that, that bit which uh, looked a bit funny is, is gone off. Um, as you can see, it's slightly all raised. Um, as, as obviously you print in onto it as uh, you can actually layer it up if you want to but it's very hard to get the registration right to, to print that again okay another thing what I'm, I'm thinking of doing is making a uh, after or um, light box little light box that's got these this is actually a, uh, it's a nail hardening um, system uh, it's got the reason I bought this one is because it's got a timer. The, the, the LEDs aren't very bright, and I might actually just buy the same units as what I've got on my computer. But the idea is that I'm going to make this into a, a box, um, about an A5, A6 size, you know, A4 size, and then basically drop that over all the material I'll print and just give it an extra like 90 seconds just to, to make sure it's all cured. Um, not actually made one yet but I, th I think to, s to stop it from just making it a bit more stronger or uh, just see if there's any ink not cured it's a good idea to actually make it make it do it